indeed, indeed. We're just sitting here discussing being Wednesday the 14th of October. Uh -huh. It's no ordinary Wednesday, is it? It is not. It is not. It today. Is Yes. Well, maths day. Yes, and we World were stimulating day. our brains there with mathematical calculations just while we were on the commercial break today. Uh, a woman who wants to stimulate you on the mathematics front is Rachel Riley. And Rachel, you have the honour of being World Maths Day patron. Congratulations. <laughs> for the UK, thank you very much. It's, very, it's a privilege. Not at all. Um, what should we take away from this, this amazing day? Because part of this is World Education Games. Tell us about those. Yeah. So it's the World Education Games. So yesterday was World Literacy Day, today is World Maths Day, and tomorrow is World Science Day. Um, and over five and a half million kids around the world are playing games online today. Um, so basically they, they click a button and a flag will pop up from Australia, from Japan, from South Africa, from the UK. And you're playing against kids in all different time zones all around the world to get as many mental arithmetic points as you can. Um, and the kids absolutely love it. As soon as you turn maths into a game, as soon as you put it on a computer, they are addicted and they're trying to beat their own scores, beat other country scores, and it's just, it gets a buzz around maths and oh, it improves it just, their time tables. It's fantastic. It just brings Sarah Jane and I back to our school days where we were just thinking how we absolutely <laughs> loved that double period of maths <laughs> when it popped up during the week. But the thing is, you used a very good word there. You said the kids were playing against each other. I never yeah. would have looked at maths and thought about no, it as a play. There was thing. no fun in my maths class no whatsoever. Fun. No fun. It wasn't well, allowed. You need to stop. I need to tell you off actually as well. Because you said I'm rubbish at maths, and it's quite a flippant thing. And it's only in this country; it's kind of a badge of honour to say I'm, I'm rubbish no, at maths. No, it's not. No, Whereas believe you me. Say, I can't read, and I can't, I can't uh -huh. write. No, but I am um, mathematically. You don't what? understand. It is a condition. I am mathematically dyslexic. I'm actually very what good. What you practice? What? No, I'm okay. At, I'm okay at times. I mean, test me on times tables. Give me something. Go on. I, I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot. No, but, do. I mean, the good thing about well, math, six times six. Thirty-six. Hey, but star people. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's debate now at the moment as to whether they, kids should even be taught times tables because it puts pressure on them and it puts them on the spot. But the good thing about playing games is that they're not on the spot. I mean, they are yeah. racing against their time or racing against their own scores, but they're, they're just so enthusiastic about it. I've been into schools and I've seen the guys play these games and the, and the training around it. Um, and it, it just takes away any of the negativity because they're just racing against okay, themselves. Okay, if I could just be, if, if I could just be so slightly negative again, here's the thing: is maths <laughs> is maths not, not becoming redundant? The more computers, uh, industries rely on technology. <laughs> uh, why yeah. do we need maths when machines do it yeah. for us? Or, or who makes the machines? Who codes the machines? Mm. Who comes up with these great inventions? Yeah. Who makes them work? You need maths to get any of this stuff off the ground, so it's more relevant than ever. Because, as you say, the more uh, you know, mundane or hands-on jobs, they are being taken over by machines. But you need more highly skilled, educated people to actually invent them and get them working in the first place. Okay. Well, thank you very much for for uh, having the encouragement there with people. <laughs> the World Education. Yeah. Go on. Give me just another one before we go. Give me another times tables. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Four times eight. Thirty-two. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, every point good. for World Maths Day, <laughs> every but point for World Maths Day that people get is going to get translated into money for UNICEF. So you just got two extra no. something. No, for I know, I know what the on. difference is. If you had been my maths teacher instead of Mr. Kernahan, it might have, <laughs> the, it might have turned out. It could have been you and me on countdown. And that's the way I'll, it could have I'll been. I still give lessons now. It's not too late. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. Uh, here's the weather. Brilliant.